Hello, this is Chris Brown. Here I want to talk to you today about a couple of things related to maintenance and upkeep of your instrument. What can you do to keep it up? Oiling the valves, uh, working the slides, cleaning it out, just a couple things like that. I'll just show you the things that I use, the products I use, how you keep your instrument clean. Now some places will tell you, especially music stores will tell you, you need to regularly get it chemical cleaned, um, worked on at the store. But I know that can be relatively expensive and you don't always need to get that done. Brass instruments are really not that difficult to clean on our own. Now woodwinds are a little different, but brass instruments are relatively easy to clean. So first we'll talk about oiling the valves. Now there's a couple things that you want to check when you oil the valve. So you got three valves here, maybe you have a four valve instrument. Um, I try to oil my valves every day, every time I play. Um, I think it really helps. I can tell the difference if I didn't oil it. I could feel it because I do that regularly. I encourage my students to do that as well because your valves will kind of seize up, especially if it's hot outside, um, they dry out or they could, uh, you know, just the oil will uh, get thick um, and it will cause problems that way. So what you want to do is you take the bottom, the cap here. Now this is your button. You don't want to do anything with this. You want to take this off here. So take off the top valve cap. So your valve cap top one, here's the bottom one. Take that valve cap off, loosen it, pull this valve straight out. Now I encourage the students when they do this to put it on their lap or just put it on a table or something, take that valve out like that. You will notice there's these little guides on this valve here. So we're going to put the oil on this thick part of the valve and uh, there's these little guides here. These little guides, there's a bigger one right here, a little thicker. This one's a little thinner. These are going to line up with the inside of your instrument. You probably can't see that, but there's little really small guides in there. You want to line up the larger one with the larger guide and put that in and you just drop the valve in. Now first we'll oil it. Now I use this Hetman valve oil. My horn is relatively old from the 60s. I use this lubricant 3 which is thicker on it and we just put a little bit of oil on it. We just drop a couple of drops around here Make sure it's lined up here so the thick side on mine is down. And, and you will notice the valves. Make sure you have the right valves in, valve one, valve two, three. You will notice you'll get used to the pattern of the holes. Now this has the angled that pattern to the holes, which I know is the first valve. So I put it in here. Just drop it in, put that valve oil on, and then drop it in. And that you can hear the clanking from the top cap, but I just drop that in there and then I just turn it. I want to keep those guides lined up and I just turn it and you'll hear it click into place. Then you'll know it's in place. As long as you put these in the right place and you also click it in there, you should be fine. I've bought instruments from reputable dealers who didn't do their homework on getting the valves lined up. This is really about the only thing that could go wrong with your brass instruments if the valves are not lined up or there's something wrong with the valves. There's not much to the brass instruments. There's tubes and then there's these valves. So oil the valve just a little bit and you'll find they move relatively fast once you do that. Oil them each day. Now a quick way of doing it is you could put some through the bottom here. and You could just put a little bit of valve oil on the bottom like this. And then I like to work it up and down to get the valve oil to go through the valves, the top and the bottom. So that's how you oil the valves. Get your valve oil. I prefer Hetman's because it really works good on this horn, has some valve issues with it. Now, how do I clean or how do I work with the slides to get them to go quick? Now, if you're studying with me or you're studying with a, a great teacher that talks to you about moving your slides, you know that you're going to have to use your third valve slide. The third valve has this big slide here. I like mine really quick. So how do I get that to go fast? Well, I do two things. I could use slide grease like this. This is just 
some slide grease comes in a tube you could buy this at the store you can also if you don't have slide grease you could buy just Vaseline you can use Vaseline it's very similar you just want something that's a thick viscosity that's a thick oil or thick product and you just put that on your slides just a little bit on your slides and that'll help it to move nice and easy then I go and I add some valve oil so I put some of that on there the, the slide grease and then I put a couple drops of valve oil and that'll help it to move really fast so the grease will help it to be nice and slick and be nice and smooth the valve oil will help it to be fast so keep it fast now because I do both oil and grease you need to kind of do that kind of regularly a little bit to keep it going but especially if you have a student horn that has a natural hitch because there's multiple pieces in there this is important to do it'll help it to go fast now if you do have a student horn and there's no slot stop nut here I encourage my students to get a string and run it around put it far as ex extend your third slide as far as you need to then rope that string around there and tie it off there's also little plastic guides that you can get at the store to help you to keep that slide in because you need that to go fast and you need it to work fast so you got the valve oil to, to work the the valves and also to work the slide you can also put valve oil on your first slide if you want as well as the slide grease I put slide grease on my tuning slide as well so that's just a couple of maintenance things for you to consider now um, the next video I'll talk to you a little bit about how to clean the instrument so that's how we oil the trumpet and keep it nice and maintained properly lubricated for you to play thank you very much have a good day